I'm Jeremy at the TRQ Research and Development Facility, and this is where we test all of our parts on a fleet of vehicles to make sure they're the quality that you deserve. Today, I'm going to show you how to generally install brakes. Every car is a little bit different, but this is going to be a quick guide on what you should expect to see and maybe some tips and tricks. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to crack your lug nuts loose while your vehicle is on the ground. It'll be a lot easier to remove the wheel that way. And then you want to raise and support your vehicle and make sure you do it on level ground so it's nice and safe for you to work on. So with the wheel off, you can see that we carry the drilled and slotted rotors, but we also have a huge line of solid rotors that is just like the OEM ones that came on your car. This is the part that spins with the wheel, which you can see by going like this. And as it spins around, the brake pads in here are what grab it and slow down the car. This right here is your brake caliper. And when you're doing a brake job, you need to remove the caliper with two bolts on the backside. Once the caliper's off, you have access to the brake pads. But the brake pads are held in by the brake caliper bracket. So the brake caliper bracket also has to come off. Usually there's two bolts that hold it on. Once you have the caliper bracket off, then you have access to the rotor. So you can pull the rotor off and replace it with a new one. Sometimes rotors will have a screw, like right in between uh, two studs, that hold the rotor to the hub and sometimes they get rusted in there. Sometimes you need an impact driver to put in here and then hit it on the end with a hammer and it'll spin the screw loose. Once you get the screw loose, you are gonna wanna take the rotor off, but sometimes the rotor sticks to the hub around this centerpiece and there's a couple different ways that you can get the rotor off of the hub. One of the things that you can do is hit it with a hammer in between the studs and that usually frees it up from the, from the center of the hub. Sometimes it also rusts right around the center, so just kind of like tapping it around will release that rust, and hopefully the rotor will then come off. With the rotor off, you can then clean up the hub before you put the new rotor on, because there's gonna be some rust on the surface of the hub that you don't want built up between the hub and the new rotor. With the new rotor on, then you can clean up your caliper bracket. You always wanna clean up the slide area where the brake pads sit, because they often rust up and it will cause your brake pads to stick. If your brake pads stick, they'll wear unevenly and then you'll end up replacing your brake pads much sooner than you need to. So with caliper bracket all clean, you can replace your brake pads and then you can put your caliper back on. But before you put your caliper back on, you have to compress the piston that's inside it with groove jaw pliers or a C-clamp or with a piston compressing tool. For vehicles equipped with ABS, you'll want to crack the bleeder screw before you compress the piston and the caliper, and that way all of the fluid comes out of the bleeder screw instead of going back into your ABS module. I've heard of people having issues if they push the piston back uh, into the caliper and the fluid goes back into the module because you're ba basically backfeeding the ABS module with old, dirty fluid. So it's always good to crack the bleeder, let the fluid out, and then you can slide your caliper back on, you put your two bolts back in, and then you want to pump your brakes as soon as you're done because it will push the piston back out and it will uh, take up all of the space that's in here. So that way, the first time you pump your brakes, you'll actually have working brakes again. If you do crack your bleeder screw loose to uh, release any of the fluid, you'll always want to top off your master cylinder when you're done with the correct brake fluid that your vehicle uh, requires. And if you need brakes for your car, find the TRQ brand because they're rigorously tested. I've used them on my own car and they fit perfectly every time.